Now we will work through some quotient rule examples. And the first one is to find the derivative of sine 2x over x. So we'll just apply the quotient rule directly. And when I do this, I think to myself, I'm thinking in my mind, low d high minus high d low over low low. And you can just pretty much write out the derivative that way if the functions are easy to differentiate. So low is x, d high is cosine of 2x times 2 by the chain rule. Don't forget the derivative of your inner function there. So that's low d high minus high, which is sine 2x, times the derivative of the one down low there. And the derivative of x is just 1. And all of that is over x squared. And that's it. And again, we could rewrite this, uh, obviously take out that 1, and put the 2 out front, so that's 2x times cosine of 2x. That would be uh, the, the more typical form. But that's our answer, the derivative of sine 2x over x. Okay, the next example is this. Our function is x plus 2 over the sine of 3x. And we're, we're going to find f primed, the derivative. Same thing, just with a slightly different notation. But conceptually, it's the same. Okay, so f prime is going to be low d high, so that's sine 3x, that's low, times the derivative of the top, which is just 1. The derivative of this is just 1, so we don't even need to write times 1 there. Minus high x plus 2, and you do need those parentheses, times the derivative of what's down on the bottom, d low. So that would be cosine of 3x times 3. And all of that is over the denominator squared. So I'll write this with the standard notation sine squared 3x. And there we have it. Okay, another example. y is equal to 7x minus 2 over 3x plus 4. Now, when they're um, simple polynomials like this, both of the functions, they often simplify very nicely, and we'll see that in this case. So let's find y primed, the derivative. Well, it's going to be low, that's 3x plus 4, times d high, and the derivative of that is just 7, minus high, 7x minus 2, times d low. And the derivative of what's down low is just 3 all that over 3x plus 4 squared. Now let's simplify this just a little bit. Uh, distribute the 7 right here and we get 21x plus 28 and distribute the 3 and we get a minus 21x plus 6. We get a plus because of the minus and the minus right there. And all of this is over 3x plus 4 squared. And then the 21x and the minus 21x cancel out, and we're left with 28 plus 6, which is 34 over 3x plus 4 squared. Okay, let's do uh, one more example here. y equals x cubed over sine x, and we want to find the derivative. So y primed will be low, that's sine x, times d high, which is 3x squared, minus high, that's x cubed, d low, and the derivative of the denominator is just cosine x, and all of that over the denominator squared, so sine squared x. And notice we have an x squared here and an x cubed here, so you could factor out an x, x squared term if you needed to.